It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Well, don't the three of you look nice today. Move in close. Come on, give me a big smile. Come on. There you go. I'll give you a couple of copies after the game. All right, as we say in the business, let's start. All right, first order of business, screws. All right, word on the screws. You get to a question that you know your neighbor doesn't have an answer to, stifle that pity and screw them. Buzz in and hit the S key. They'll thank you for it later. All right, let's do it. Player one, it's up to you. Shake hands with nuts. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. If you're sent to a nut house for those that are actual nuts, you'd find yourself surrounded by which of the following? Chestnuts and straight jackets, cashews and padded cells, medicated almonds, or... Take a shot. <laughs> That's a good one. Player one. Player one. Cashew, gesundheit. Player three, it's yours if you want it. Up to you, player three. Chestnuts. <laughs> Although peanuts, almonds, and cashews are commonly referred to as nuts, technically they're not. They simply have an altered view of reality. It's all about you, player three. Which one do you want? By night, these computer consultants become the dangerous... <laughs> For your enjoyment. Look! The animals have left chocolate bars for us! How does $2,000 sound? Alright, have a listen to this travel journal entry. When you know what fictional place the explorer is talking about, buzz in and type it out. We lost two ships crossing the ice cream sea. Our provisions are stuck in the molasses swamp. We've spent days in the lollipop woods, but still hope to reach Gumdrop Mountains by nightfall. When you know what fictional place this is, buzz in and start typing. That's right, they're all in Candyland. A trip through Candyland, huh? Something tells me they're gonna start off with a lot of energy and then come down after like one mile. Your pick player two, how about it? This one's called Love Stinks, and you're playing for $3,000 cash money. We've all heard about Love Canal, the first federally recognized environmental disaster site, right? Site right. Hmm. Anyway, what was the name of the company responsible for dumping chemical waste into Love Canal? A Moray Chemical Company, Marriage Chemical Company, Hooker Chemical Company, or Breakup Chemical Company? Player two, grab it! No, I think Marriage Chemical threatened to dry up the Love Canal. Player one, player three, who wants it? Player three, make it happen. Ain't it just like a hooker to ruin someone's love? They sure got their penalty, though. They got slapped around with a big fine by Worldwide Pimp Enterprises. Your call, Player 3. This category is known as looking for a few good power tools. Looks like this one's going for a thousand bucks. Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. Instead of turning to matchmaker.com to find a date, suppose you buy a stud finder at the local hardware store. What could you hope to find? A beam behind drywall, a metal clasp under carpeting. All yours? Happy trails. Player two, player three, the time is... Player three, do it. A stud finder is an electronic device that locates the upright supports or studs behind drywall or plaster walls. <laughs> and if you're still not getting any dating satisfaction after that, I, I know a trained professional who makes house calls. Hi, Cookie. Did you call me? 
Player three, give me some category. Numero cinco, and you don't know Jack. This one likes to go by Seesaw. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Okay, we all know what a saw is. It's one of those long ridge sharp things that those hunky lumberjacks use. But tell me this. In the sentence, what I saw was too nauseating to recount. What do the words what I saw make up? A verbal, an indirect object, a predicate, or a noun clause? <laughs> Up to you, player. <laughs> player one, take a shit. Um, how do I say this indirectly? Okay, got it. You are so not right. Excuse me. So, heard any good jokes lately? In this sentence, what I saw is a noun clause, a dependent clause that acts as the subject. And what I saw was two. <laughs> Player two, take your pick. Pucker up for Pop Art with Appeal. I'm giving out three grand for a right answer. Hey, everybody knows that Andy Warhol painting of a banana, right? I mean, you seem to see it everywhere, but... According to the Chiquita Banana song, where should Andy Warhol never put his banana? In the refrigerator, on an album cover, in a pie, or in his pocket? You're screwed, player one. Never on an album cover? Hey, the day Chiquita can boss around a band like Velvet Underground is the day Lou Reed does an ad for Honda Scoop. Oh, well, you're still wrong. Player, player two. Player three, don't take that. Huh? Make your move, player. Player two, grab it. Well, he could have put it in his pocket, but he would have had to deal with all those wiseacres asking if he's just glad to see them. Yeah, I know, you all really meant to pick this one. According to the song, they're from the tropical equator, so you should never put bananas in the refrigerator. Okay, if it's Warhol's fridge, maybe you can put them in there for 15 minutes, but that's it. Player two, give me something. Oh my god, I died? I've died and gone to... Seven! The category is Touch Me Baby, and it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Heads up, here it comes. If the movie The Untouchables were based on the Hindu caste of the same name, what might you have seen in the movie? G-men selling cattle, G-men performing marriages, G-men handling human waste, or G-men rolling in wealth? Take a shot, player two. The untouchables are the lowest class in the Hindu caste system and are ostracized because they handle unsavory materials in their jobs. <laughs> All right, Capone, we finally got you. Boys, put down that poo and cuff him. Your turn, player two. What's it going to be? Superb choice. Come on in close to the keyboard, player two. The rest, you give it a rest, because player two is about to embark on a diss or dash. The category for this diss or dad is sequels are hell. Okay, I'm going to read off seven names, and you're going to tell me whether each one is an officer who served in the World Wars or in Star Wars. As each one comes up, if he was an officer in either World War I or World War II, press 1. If he's a fictional character from the original Star Wars trilogy, press 2. And press 4 if you want to skip. I give you 500 bucks for each right answer, and 500 will be taken away if you get it wrong or don't get to it. Okay, can I have 30 seconds on the clock, please? Let's dance. General Eisenhower. General Zhukov. 